Hi guys, Retro Django here with another video. Well, this one will be a little different. This is not a hardware review, but I just want to play one game. And the game is Eye of the Beholder 2. Well, I'm actually not sure if I have it here. Let's see. I have I got it here. Um, I have to behold the one. I have to behold the two version two, which means it's in German. No. There we go. RPG 3D adventure game from 1992. Let's try that. Well, um, it's late. It's really late in Denmark. Uh, everybody's asleep here and um, oh I need some more volume here because wow probably 20 years ago <laughs> um, this was one of my favorite games um, when I was a kid so I got this new uh, YouTube channel mainly about Amigas and uh, yeah, everything with, with Commodore on, label on it. Um, <clears throat> I got in contact with a guy from uh, Germany through my YouTube channel who also plays these old classic games and uh, he wrote to me for um, about 10 minutes ago uh, just uh, asking hey uh, nice review about the Amiga 1000 and um, he really likes my reviews, he's a nice guy and he asked if I was doing another video, anything else coming out soon and I said uh, yeah I have some different videos I have planned but uh, not nothing that comes out <laughs> in, in the next couple of days so uh, and I, I asked him what he was doing and he wrote that he was uh, he just started a new game in, on uh, his Amiga and he played After Beholder uh, 2. He just uh, played uh, After Beholder 1 and he was uh, taking his party from per part 1 here to, the, to part 2 and uh, I forgot everything about this game and after he wrote I was like I really wanted to uh, to play this game, and it's it's Saturday tomorrow, so oh, this I mean back in '92 on my Amiga 600 with one megabyte chip RAM, I could play this game. It was I found four or five or six disc. I don't remember that. Also, a save disc. Uh, and I remember first time I loaded this game with a friend I, we was just we were blown away uh, the music the the graphic I mean the details and I mean this game was just epic back then and I um, I remember the the start of this game um, it, it had slow paced and uh, uh, you just fought uh, that fight against non uh, werewolves I, I don't really remember but when you got into the castle the dark, I mean it was called Dark Moon um, then the game got really interesting and you can you could level up your characters and um, and get different new spells and better weapons and all and all that um, it says 3d 3d rpg but i mean this is the grandfather of the these old rpg games um, wow i have to behold the two legend of dark moon um, yeah load a game start a new party here you go, you can transfer 
your characters from after Beholder One. Um, <clears throat> that was uh, that was very cool back then because when you started a new game or if you transfer, actually when you transfer your characters, um, they had better better items and also start I, I, I'm not sure but I think the level was higher when you transferred so that was really really cool here we can see the introduction again and this one uh, we could uh, format uh, the disk to to make a save game disk again from 1992 um, an official Advanced Dungeon and Dragons second edition computer product. All right, I didn't know that. <laughs> well, I wasn't that old back then. I probably didn't even know what Dungeon and Dragons was. So let's start a new party. I'm sorry about my wa voice. I'm, yeah, it's late. I'm tired. So we could, uh, we we have to uh, select the race here. Human male, <clears throat> human female, elf, half elf, dwarf, gnome, halfling. I how I did it was I had a human male here I remember and he was a fighter, because the two characters in the front they took the the damage when attacked. So I also I always had fighters here and mages and clerks in in, in the background. So this guy, he was, I think he was neutral good, and uh, well, then you could um, choose between different fighters. I mean, I really don't remember. Oh, this guy, I, I no, many characters. Alright, so um, this guy, <clears throat> here we could, uh, you can see strength and intelligence and wisdom and all that, and we could reroll the dice like in Dungeons and Dragons and get some different score, or we could cheat, we could just press on the modify button and just get maximum here and uh, maximum intelligence i don't know if i could yeah i could just this is faster yeah maximum keep well he can uh, that's jingo that's me and he had a elf female that was fighter and thief. And thieves were very important in, in this game. Uh, chaotic evil. Thieves were important because um, what was it? Elf. She got elf ears. So we can modify her too. Uh, thieves could find uh, secret doors and traps and all that. In the beginning, I um, <laughs> I was against having a thief in my party because, you know, as a kid, uh, oh, I didn't, uh, I didn't get get his uh, health up, hit points. Damn. I don't know if I can. Well, I. What's her name? Her name is Elvira. There we go. I don't know if I could modify. No, I can't modify, but he's got real, uh, he's got okay health. So we need a mage here that I, 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 the mage were human also. And he should just be lawful and neutral. <laughs> and that's this guy. Let's modify him. He needs a lot of intelligence and wisdom. So uh, I don't know about this cheating method. Uh, it is built in the game, but the best way would be just to reroll to and then 
just check the best odds. He can't have that much hit point. He's a mage, but that's okay. We'll keep him. And he was all always called Merlin. Back in the day, I haven't seen the yeah the um, what's they called Lord of the Rings movies and all that were not made. So I didn't know anything about Gandalf. Didn't read any books. And this one could be a I don't know. Um, Elf male, and he could be a cleric. Uh, I, <coughs> my guys were always, yeah. The, the, let's reroll with this one, and you can see let's have he also needs a lot of intelligence. Yeah, let's take this one. And he was a uh, cleric. There we go. Really, really missed this game. Um, I'm gonna play it for a couple of hours. So you could uh, walk like this and attack by pressing the right button, not the left. If you press the left button, you pick up your weapon and you can throw it. And that's a dumb idea. So right button, you can see these can't reach, so they're not worth anything. Oh, we got a werewolf on the back side here. And um, we'll take his shield and give it to him. Uh, inventory. This we got from the, the guy in the beginning. I don't know his Kelvin, I think he was called. So he could contact us with, with teleport. What's this? Lock picks. All right. What's this? Magic missile, yeah, scrolls. Oh, he's a clerk, so like this. Okay, and we could, I don't remember, maybe here, rest, memorize spells. All right, Merlin. So you can see level one spells, burning hands, I think. Um, acid arrow, <laughs> nice. Disappeal magic, fireball. Here we got ice storm. Okay, this one was very strong, and all his level is not high enough to see when when he gained level more um, different uh, spells will come on here and these high level spells. It was I mean ninety two, really well made. Um, subscribe. If they can learn new spells, pray. I mean, uh, this guy also needs. Was it like this? Yeah. Okay. The cleric he can bless, and he could cause cure light wounds. That was nice. Eight flame blade. Slow poison, I use that, I remember. Create food, dispel magic, prayer, yeah. Cure wounds. Oh, this one was very important. Neutral poison when you got, uh, yeah, when uh, they got poisoned and also cure serious wounds. When they got uh, wounded. <laughs> Then you could sleep, and uh, when you had these cures, then you did you didn't need to rest for so long time. I mean, you can see now he memorized all the spells and all that. One thing that I is miss that, that's missing here is some background music would be nice. We got a stone here, that's a rock. Sorry, like that. Okay. You can also use the, the keyboard. Oh, there we go. So, um, I mean, no, no music. Okay, she needs our help. Um, can we help her? No, I don't want to help her, so we just attack her. And there's a scroll, blah, blah, blah. I don't know how to read it. Oh, wolves are on the way. 
If you help her, then how to use magic like this? Let's use some burning hands. There we go, magic man. That was nice. If we help her, then we need... oh, how do I remove that? Uh, a board spell. There we go. Um, so let's find the. I, I really I have no clue where to go. I just. I'm gone with the wind here. We got a rock there, we got a knife here. A rusty dagger, I don't want that. So you can just also throw your weapons. So we need some more burning hands. Or acid arrow, I mean, like that. And you can see how much um, damage you do. Oh yeah, miss. Acid arrow, oh, we are surrounded. I hear the attack sounds in stereo. <laughs> Let's use another arrow. Arrow. Come on! Django is getting damaged. Oh no. Last guy. You're gonna get the fireball, man. There we go. Let's turn around. This guy. Okay, we could also, um, here we could, I mean, you can see the hit points are like this, but actually we could, was it here? Sounds are on, bar grab, there we go. 45 out of 50. This was high, high. Game options, slot, blah, blah, blah. Drop character. Oh, you could also pick up two more characters. So, um, yeah. In your party. Let's you can see here he, he just cleric casts cure wounds so uh, that was fast. Alright, <coughs> let's find this oh no more werewolves fireball damn it nice I don't know if he can turn on that nice Well, we have to attack them because we're gaining experience and as you know, in these types of games, experience points, oh damn, leads to level up. I'm missing a lot guys, come on. Yeah. Yeah, so we could uh, dig and find some bones. Okay, you can see the cleric, because I chose that he was neutral or good, then he protests, uh, pro protests. I will not be, be party to <coughs> <coughs> discrediting graves, blah, blah, blah. Dig in a way, yeah, whatever. So he's really angry now. Then we could, um, you can see he's not happy. We could pick up those bones. <laughs> yeah, nice t-shirts and we had, oh. You can see cleric again, poor souls. I'm sure they have found peace now. Yeah. More graves, more graves, good stones. Okay, um, I think it was this, yeah. It was to the west of the graves. <laughs> Damn, what a memory. 25 years ago. Do you wish to enter Dark Moon? I mean, look at the graphics. So nice. You're entering the... Oh, I mean, that screen, you should... Uh, what's it called? Change discs and wait so long time. I mean, I wish I had an Amiga like this back then. There we go. Hello, hello. So you can talk with them, attack them and leave them. They look nice, they look sweet, but they're evil as shit. So um, let's just attack them. You can see here. 
the doors close and they're mage. They have oh I need some magic. I need a fireball. There we go. Why does he miss all the time? That's this maze chicken. We can replace. We can do it like this and bash with a maze. I need better weapons, I mean plus two or three will I will find it soon. Okay. She needs some arrows in her head. Acid arrows. More arrows. There we go. Damn. Alright, we just killed her and the guy. So we could uh, I mean the graphics in here was incredible. I know they maybe don't look like anything today, but back then, I mean, oh let's let's rest. And when you played for many, many hours and you met some of, in, in part one, you have to kill one uh, eye of the beholder. And it was really, really hard to kill him. Here in part two, the first time I met one of these eye of the beholders, I think, wow, I'm gonna just kill him and be done with this game. But I think there are about 10 or 15 I have the beholders here in part two, so it's this one is I mean much deeper, yeah, much much better than than part one. Also, the graphics are much better here. Nice, and the sound changes from left to right. That's yeah. As you can see, Elvira, she was a um, thief. And uh, when I just walk her, then she says, the wall to the west seems solid, but I feel a small draft. Then we turn to the west. There's a little button here. It's good to have a thief in the party. There we go. And we have, I don't remember, we have some kind of magic. So let's walk into it. Okay, I don't know where we are. Okay, more magic there. Death be undone by me, but I shall only grant three. <coughs> okay, I remember this. Um, if some, if some uh, of the guys from your party got killed, then you could take their bones and you could resurrect them here. So uh, that was a really, really nice detail, but you could only resurrect uh, three times. All right, we're back. So let's get down. I mean, uh, as I remember, we just always needed to just walk down. And this, we should change discs and wait for a very, very long time. Okay, you can see the cleric. I mean, I love the, um, the fighter is just a fighter, you know, but all the other, other characters, I, I, I love to mix them and they really help you in in the game, um, as you saw with the. I think we need some of those. Okay, somebody's walking. Okay, we have the closed door here. Oh, I saw something here. See, we need a key. Okay. So we have to go this way. I, I could use the keyboard, it's much faster, but uh, uh, it, in the woods I did that. But here I will I will try to use these so, so you have a chance to see where I press. You can also see here, but yeah, I think it's better. All right, you needed those rocks. I don't know how many, but can you hear the footsteps? So back in the days, we actually looked at the walls like this, as there an, a, a button anywhere. So, so there we go. So, one as you can see here, when I go back, there are some places when you step on these. I don't know if it's easy to see on on camera, but if you move, then the the door closed again, and I don't remember if 
there's a trick here. I will just leave a rock. Uh, I don't remember. I don't want to get stuck. So you can see there's a rock on here. So the door won't close when I enter. Whoa. <coughs> I'm sorry, guys. <laughs> Let's finish them off and go back to sleep. All right. So they just attack me. Whoa. Damn. We need some magic arrows. Oh, where are the fireballs here? Well, the mace is seems like it was a good idea. Nine, ten. Let's try to give the mace to here because he he often misses. Are he? That's it. Let's try ice storm. Oh, okay. When, <laughs> when, when you use the ice storm, you have to take a step back because it hits everyone. There we go. There's the key we are looking for. All right. So dagger, no thanks, no thanks. But let's sleep because, um, as you can see, eighteen out of fifty. Um, Someone is still injured. Rest until the heal. Heal, yes, please. I mean, guys, maybe if this is first time you see this game, you may be thinking, I mean, this looks boring, but you really have to give it a chance. If you got an Amiga and you got this game, it's such a fun adventure game, role playing game. It says 3D, but. Uh, Oh my God, what the hell is going on? <laughs> We're resting, okay. Is it because I use a lot of magic? I don't know. Oh, that's because I got the... Um, it's because of this the, the ice storm that uh, it takes all. Okay, we rested for 200 hours now. Well, I could use that. I will take a break. Okay, we're well, uh, about 300 hours of rest. Yeah, all right. <laughs> okay. <laughs> no one's able to pray the store open. All right. Good to hear the footsteps. To the left. To the left. So there we go. And you, you can't just run. This is open and I'm running now. You can't go that way. So this is where you need some rocks. Let's put a rock here. I mean, you don't have to be <laughs> that intelligent to figure it out, but it has some of these things. And one of the most irritating thing about this game is it doesn't have a map function it, that, it could help so much if there's another game uh, that's called black crypt that had a map function it was just perfect with that function here you, you just i played this with a friend sorry guys um <laughs> my phone went out of uh, memory capacity because of the length of this video so i just i needed to to delete some things so let's continue the journey there we go django what's that noise it sounds like someone humming to the south and this is the south we got a gray key all right so we got a gray key here a gray key here okay That gods everywhere. Okay, so we we came from here. Oh and we're getting attacked. 
and he throws a dagger. Well, let's try uh, to use the ice storm, step back and throw it. Damn, did you see that? We didn't get any damage <coughs> this time. Last time it was really bad. <laughs> this maze really hits well. Um, I hope this guy drops some weapon so we could upgrade. Let's give him some acid. There we go. We just acided his face. That's the dagger he tossed at us. The barrel sounds hollow. We could dash it. And we have some food here. No, I can't pick it up. There we go. So we actually, you can see hit points, 47 out of 50. And also we needed some food and... No, oh here. There we go. So we need some more food now to the other characters. More food. I mean, I'm playing this game very late in a dark room. What's this? Magic dust. All right. And I actually am I'm, I'm, I'm thinking about if you're watching this video, I really hope you watch it late and in the dark room in the dark room so you get the same effect as as i do what do we have here lock picks is it the same as this yeah all right so let's open this door use the gray key nice should be sleep You can see when he casts the different uh, cure spells, then we regain everything much, much faster because of the cleric. Um, now I'm thinking next time I will make a new party, I will make uh, half mage, half something else and half cleric and half ranger. So maybe if this one was cleric and ranger, he could have a something a bow or something I, I really don't remember but some kind of range attacks okay this guy he wants to join our party and uh, when you say yes uh, he will join here and uh, you will give him food and all sort of weapons and you will uh, I'm, I don't remember he's a dwarf thief or yeah and you will equip him with all sort of things. And first time you sleep, I think it's the first time, then you get a message of this little shit. He stole all the things you have, plus some extra, and he just went away. So no, he will not join our party. Go away. Insult, 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 I don't know, bends down and rub his ankles it is so nice to be free again thank you for your blah 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 all right but we don't want him in our party so um this is where we came from am i stuck well I was talking about a map, <laughs> but guys, believe it or not, we actually did, I mean these footsteps, we did draw a map, um, one of us walked and every step, <laughs> we, there he is, hello, he would, we could use some arrows and we didn't hit him. I mean, this game was just so awesome. Also, having a map at, at when we dropped the map, and you could go up and down and revisit the same places, and it made the game much, much more fun to play. It really misses that. Uh, I don't know if the third one. I think the third. Uh, after behold the game had a map but 
Look at this. <laughs> I think the third game was not for the Amiga. I think it was for the PC. Um, but I, I'm not sure. It's I don't know, 25 years ago. Um, we need some burning hands. Yeah. Well, let's leave. Usually, you just you you don't just sleep when you get in the lower levels. You just you can't just sleep everywhere because it says uh, monsters are close and um, you have to go up again when you wanna rest your party and all that. Okay, Django looks like a food storage area. Yep, we need a lot of food now. Merlin can eat that. There we go. What's up there? I think. No, nothing. I mean, more food. The cleric needs food. Oh, there we go. I mean, it was, it, it was an awesome game. So, just a dagger, not a sword. come from there I'm confused was that me <laughs> let me see here yeah we have explored almost every, everything here now I'm going back I think yeah okay I'm pretty lost Oh, he comes back. Well, this way, it, I think this is where I came from, isn't it? Yes, it is. And here we meet the great key. So, is he back? Yeah, we just upgrade him. <laughs> it, it, it's a dumb idea to do it like this because he will come back in a minute and attack me from the back. Let's try to tr now. Berlin! Burn them! Can he attack? Cure? Slow? Trigger! Yeah, I got the yellow. Oh my god, they can really do some damage. We need Merlin's fireballs. I mean, next level, I think he can have four fireballs and that was really really important to have did you see that now scale mail taken plate mail um i think we could i don't know how to dexterity 18 i, I, I don't know if it's this way no. I don't remember if you could see the armor would change anything level seven. I think if you transferred your party you could you could have them at level nine. Oh armor class one. What's that? Is it the same? Yeah, minus two. You can see the new one. This is the old and this is the new. You can see from minus two it gets up to plus one, so that's great. Minus one. They have the plate. I think they all. Oh, he's got a robe only. Scale mail. We could memorize, or we could. What was it? Was it pray? No. Oh no. Damn. Cure life wounds. He needs to cure everything. Eight flame blade. Uh, we could want to subscribe. You don't have any. Okay. I mean, we have take, taken a lot of damage, and um, need to rest. Those two guys, they were really powerful. Clerics, prayers, prayer spell. Well, let's use the prayer again. 
There we go. All right. Let's take that rock. You get the idea why I do that. <laughs> Elvira. The level closes the pit, but this is only part of the trap. So, you know, it's closed, but it's just only a part of the trap. And when we... Oh. You can see I can't run back. I'm trapped. Fireball. So I will, I don't, I, I can't use the, the ice storm as it was ice blast or what. I don't remember what it was. Let's use some burning hands because this one only attacks on one, but burning hands attacks everything. No, not, not everything. I think everything on the front. <laughs> we got a gray key. All right. Get another gray key. I think when we step back and again. No, we're stuck. Damn. Alright. We got something good here. Now we can walk back. Nice details. Really nice. Something. Uh, I think we had something. Uh, no. Sometimes you got surprised at these on these walls. Um, okay, we need the gray key. He doesn't have any armor. He can get some acid on him. And when you can hear them walk, you can't rest. Let's try if it hits everyone. Yeah, everyone on the screen. But it's, it's a low level um, spell, so it doesn't damage that much. But nice to attack them all. Come on. There you go. Fireball, come on. No? Oh, we have to sleep. We have to rest. Elvara has gained a level. Nice! Oh. No! <laughs> Elvira is dead! Oh, she, <coughs> she could sleep and... Um... Oh, damn. Yeah, guys, that's what happened. This is a... Oh, look, an old dagger was left in the basin. Yeah, screw that dagger. So this is this was a uh, some sort of jail. There we go. The key does not fit this lock, so we need another key here. Um, how about here? Can I use the gray key here? Yeah, I can. Oh damn. Well, she's gone. We have no spells here. We have to read. So only thing to do is this. <laughs> well, I will show you that that was just, uh, yeah. I have to start a new game, but I need to show you what was it called? The black, something with black. Black knight, no. Black Crypt, there you go. Also for, from 1992, also Adventure RPG 3D, one player only. But, uh, I mean, After Boulder 2 was, that was, that was my, my favorite. Uh, no doubt about that, I've, I've, I've played it a lot. But, This one I saw maybe six months later. I, I, I don't know why, but it wasn't as popular as the Earth to Behold the series. But this one was much of the same. Um, maybe some more puzzles.
on these old Amiga games. Create a new party. This one was such a perfect game. Um, yeah, we got a fighter and um, yeah, it's just pre-made. We get a cleric and magic and a druid and uh, crypt. Again, no, no, okay. We have to save again. Yeah, I can see the compact flash card is blinking, <laughs> so um, I. I really don't like to to write on the compact flashcard. I mean, I mean, reading is perfect, but but writing on it, I'm just, um, I don't think it 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 likes it <laughs> that much. Oh, as you can see, that it went dead. Yeah, I uh, no, it worked. Click the mouse to begin. Well, let's begin. I mean, the, I think the graphics were just better here. We get a wooden shield. You can see it's 92, but everything is bigger and the, the screen is bigger. And not that I'm bashing after Beholder because it's such a fun, fun uh, well, how do I? No. Oh, the backpack. Um, How was it? <laughs> How did I enter room like this? The backpack is here. Okay, we check. I think I stood like this. Now it's empty or what? No. No. Okay. So when you're at how the hell do I check like this? Okay, just press on their faces. <laughs> How do I get magic? Um, oh, it was here. Oh, was it? Click on the person you want to wake. Get there. Is it here? Oh, no. Well, long time ago. How, how do I get the map? Oh, all right. Cleric, magic user. There we go. Wizard side. And I think we have to gain some levels to. How do I go to page two? There we go. Is that it? <laughs> and shield. Okay. Cleric, light, healing. Um, Druid Protection Level 2. No, oh, damn, I just used <laughs> something I don't remember. <laughs> How do I exit? Oh, like that. So we need to sleep, I think, or what? No, let's wake up. So how do I, I just press here and just, okay. All right. I mean, this game was also, okay. A really popular game back in the day. We got some more stuff here. We got a shield. Uh, he can have the shield. All right, I just want to find some baddies. Oh, yes. No, we are 
the key. <laughs> All right, so it's not this way. Um, so you should, I remember in the beginning you had to find a sword because you, oh, you will fight against a two-headed monster. There we go, we got hard key already. And this two-headed monster, he was um, immune off or against normal weapons. You had to have, you had to use, um, yeah, that, I wanna you had to use this special sword. Oh, dang it. Can he attack from, no. Okay, he just throws his weapon. That's why. Let's use some healing. Okay, I want to heal him. Damn. <laughs> okay, he's dead. It's. I mean, I just played the uh, Eye of the Beholder, and you just get uh, confused. <laughs> Let's use some protection on this guy. You can see his level. He's can't I? Say, oh, I just uh, damaged him by two. That was not that much. Oh, the fighter is gonna die soon. Next time he's dead. Can I throw this again? No. Okay. Now I need some sleep. <laughs> I think it's here. You can see uh, the um, energy levels are going up. You could actually, you can see he's got uh, full energy. You could uh, also do it. You could wake him up. You can see the all the three they're sleeping. <laughs> so if you if you saw any monsters, you could wake them all up. Um, yeah, like this. All right, guys, this was just an, um, old scroll. And what does it do? How do you read it? I, I don't remember. Oh, maybe I have to wait. Where, where are the scroll at? Uh, why did I put the scroll main? Oh, also, these were also something, something. I think it's health and mana and... I don't remember. It was something like... What's this? Coordinate. Yeah. Um, how could I see the map? Was that sound? Hmm. Maybe it's some some kind of magic. Uh, I think we should. Is it like this? No. They they could learn the magic. I just don't remember how. No, this is just. Hmm. Well. Here no. Here. <laughs> yeah. Somehow they could read this, these scrolls that you can find, you could find, and uh, then you had the map, and the map was just great. I mean, look at this. Yeah, this is where I started, and. Who got the key, man? This one. Yeah. There we go, more enemies. All right, guys, that was my... Um... Oh, it was water there. You have to press here, you have to remove the thingy there. So, yeah, that was my Eye of the Beholder video. Oh, damn. 
I really hope you enjoyed it. That was After Beholder 2. And um, you also saw a little gameplay of uh, Black Crypt, which also is a very, very nice uh, uh, 3D RPG game. And this is from uh, After Beholder 1. Um, I actually didn't play <laughs> this part that much. I just started with um, I have to behold the two. So I tried this uh, maybe in 93, late 93, and then um, I didn't like it as much as uh, I have to behold the two. So yeah, but I saw my friend play it. I saw my friend, um, he killed the after beholder, um, and it was not easy. But um, yeah, so uh, I, I remember back then, most of my friends actually liked this one more than the number two, but uh, it was different with me. <laughs> okay, you can't skip it. Yeah. All right, guys. I hope you enjoyed my my video. This is a uh, not the kind of video I make normal, but uh, yeah, just want to share this one with you. So yeah, enjoy the rest of the evening and uh, have a have a blast play, playing uh, after the whole two. I hope you try it. It's odd you can skip this. Yes, you can. Oh, that was uh, Workbench 1.3 picture. Lord of Game of Progress started in your party. Yeah, it's just extra to dust. Yeah. <laughs>